Hi, I'm Allie Bowe for BTTV. For the fourth straight year, the Virginia Tech baseball team shaved their heads to raise awareness for childhood cancer research. As always, the boys are doing this with Levi Brown in their hearts. Levi was diagnosed with medulloblastoma, a highly malignant brain tumor, when he was four years old. Today he, was can today he is cancer free. Levi has become an adopted member of the Virginia Tech baseball team for the past four years as he gets to come to various events, including baseball games and sitting in the dugout with the guys. This year, the team's goal of $25,000 is just in sight. As of Saturday, the team has raised $23,028 to give to the St. Baldrick's Foundation. I'm here with head coach um, Patrick Mason. So why did you continue to do the 19 Ways initiative after Coach P. Hughes left? Well, I thought it was a, a perfect tradition to carry on, uh, regardless of who started it. It was about the, the causes that we get involved in and keeping keeping up the tradition of, of giving back to the community. It's a very good initiative. I love it. So how does it feel to help Levi and his mom doing do this? It feels great. Levi's been a big part of our program now for seven years, and to get behind his mother and himself and with the cause as good as this and raise as much mo money and awareness as we have is, you can't help but feel good. Of course. How has this impacted you personally? Well, it keeps us grounded. I mean, I think the, the base of our program, the basis of our program is to wake up and appreciate everything we have every day to much that is given, um, much is expected. And that's kind of how we want to run our program. We want our guys to appreciate everything that we have. Uh, events like this, you can't help but appreciate the good things you have in your own life. And our guys have such a great platform within the community to make the difference, make a change, and, and help people. So uh, it's, it's just perfect for us to get involved with everything we can. You talked about um, grounding the players a little bit. What else do you think it does for them? Do you think it encourages them to, once they leave the game of baseball, and go out and help their own communities? Yeah, I would think so. Um, we've had guys who have recently graduated from our program who have stayed involved with some of the initiatives that we've done here. Uh, so, yeah, to answer your question, yes. Yeah, so although the guys leaving the program are, are, the program's just new enough where we're just starting to graduate guys yeah. through it, um, we are seeing that that immediately with our, our most recent alum. I'm here with Mark Zaganis, who just shaved his head for um, child research cancer. So what encouraged you to raise so much money this year? I mean, no, I think it's a great, uh, you know, we do 19 ways. It's, I think it's a great uh, thing to give back to the less fortunate. And, um, you know, Coach Hughes started a couple years, and we just like to keep uh, the program growing and uh, keep doing this every year and try to raise more money for a great cause. How has um, Levi, Levi's story really impacted you? I mean, it's it's so sad knowing that, you know, I'm doing something I love at a, a great university and there's so many other so many other things out there than more than just a baseball game. So anytime we can help help Levi or anyone less fortunate than us, it's, it's a blessing. Has um, participating in um, the 19 Ways Initiative made you, grounded you a little bit? Uh, yes, definitely. Because, I mean, you, you think about the... Uh, luxuries you get playing here and you don't think about you know other people's lives and what they have to go through so it's kind of opens your eyes a little bit. I'm here with Ryan Burns who also just shaved his head for childhood research cancer and what does it feel to raise all this money for such a great cause? Uh, it just it's a privilege being able to you know play here and play for a, a team that's in the best conference in the country and sometimes we take you know things for granted that uh, like like the health and stuff like that. So to raise money for this is really like a reality check, and it's, it's a great feeling, you know. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a great cause. I love coming to this event every year. So how does this impact you personally? Like hanging out with Levi, raising all this money for cancer. Is there a reason why you love it? Uh, I mean, I think almost anybody can relate or has had someone that's been affected by cancer. And uh, you know, when those things come about, you just you think about about those people you love and. And just being able to see him running around here and, and enjoying his time with the, the players, just it makes everything worthwhile, you know. Because I remember being young and looking up to ball players, and now I am one of those ball players. So it's just it's a good feeling. It definitely is a good feeling. And um, what encouraged you to do all this? Um, when I first when I first came here, I, I realized I, I come from a, from a big city, and then moving out here is you know it's nice having like how much people are invested into into our program and 
and I'd realize how much the community really cares about us. So I did, I mean, that's what drove me, like the people of Blacksburg and, and all these kids and everything like that. And um, which one is your favorite of the 19 ways that you guys participate in? Uh, I like this one, um, honestly, because we get a little competitive with it, with who can raise the most money. And, you know, we're all competitive athletes here, so it's fun to it's fun to com to compete with each other, try to be the number one, and, but at the same time, we're all you know together in the in the cause, just making a difference. So, where are you in the competition? Did you raise the most? I'm number one. Of course, you are. I have to be. Shape for the brave, number two.